Welcome to Pramavera P6 Tutorials. Today we will learn about S curves. Now, what is an S curve? S curve is nothing but a visual representation, a display of cumulative cost, cumulative labor hours, or other quantities that are plotted against time. Now, the name S derives basically from shape of letter S, and it is steeper at the middle and flatter at the end and flatter at the beginning flatter at the end represents the project deaccelerating towards its end flat at the beginning represents that the project is starting and accelerating towards the steeper middle that is project is ramping up towards end of the project as per the plan now i will show you some bad example of s curve the definition itself says that the curve should be s this curve does not represent a shape of s which means that they have not been properly planned and the resource will not be properly allocated over the duration of the project. Now why do we need an S-curve? S-curve is an important project management tool which helps us to track visually the progress of the project is plotted over the time scale to identify the growth or slippage to know the cost variance or performance variance or any, or any slippage that a project might have or it may occur in the future for the project management team to take quick remedial actions. Now we have two methods for preparing S curve. One is directly through Primavera and other is through Excel. We will learn about the process of preparing an S curve from Primavera program in Excel. Now let's go to a program. Now I found this program on the internet which happened to be resource loaded. First, I'll go to project resource assignments. Now, if you see that this project happened to be really well resource located. Now, the first thing we need to do is go to group and sort, customize. Now, let's change this to WBS. Okay, let's untick this too. Click on apply. And okay. Now expand all. Now let's just go in up. Now if you see that we can see project WBS. Let's go to filter. Click on customize. Now this is an important filter you need to apply. Resource type equals labor. Now if you remember, the definition of an S curve is that it is a cumulative labor, cumulative cost plotted against time let's click on ok now the year we have spreadsheet field in that we have selected budget units and this is a time scale for a project now right click go to spreadsheet field and if you click on budget units you get a time scale as budget units now let's change the time scale format now you can see we have many different type of time scales. It is quarter per month, year per month, week per day, and so on. So for now we will select month per week. Click on OK. Now when you come back to here, let's click on budget units, copy, and just paste the data in Excel. Now you see that some columns are not clearly visible. So let's just select all the columns and double click so, so that all the columns are equally distributed and data visible. But this is the total budgeted labor units assigned to a project which has been distributed over the time scale of the project based on a project activity, planning and the resource assignments. Now further ahead, what we can see that there are some dates visible over here like 18th May, 25th May, 1st June and so on. Now what do these date represent to us? Let's go to a calendar. Let's go to 2015 May and 18th May. Now what you can see that 18th May is Monday. Monday is nothing but the start day of the week, the first day of the week. Now, where we can get the setting in Primavera is go to admin, go to admin preferences, now go to general, 
Now setting over you can see that the first day of the week is Monday. Now for most of us around the world uh, Monday is the first day of the week but in some Gulf countries it can be Saturday since Friday is the weekday. So you can go click and change the first day of the week depending upon the country or your project. Let's close this. Now let's answer the column. Let's select plus six days. This is the end of the week date. Now let's just extend the formula for a couple more weeks. Now what we can see that 31st May is end of the week. So at the end of this week we have these many units and end of this week we have these many units assigned to a project. Other option we have is that calling it week 1 and extend it for a couple of more weeks. So it's like week 1, this many units, week 2, these units, week 3, these units. So instead of just saying end of the week, you can just say the week 1, 2, 3, these many labor units. Now, since this is a weekly distribution, so the length of the distribution is a lot and plotting a graph, formatting will take a lot of time. So instead what we'll do is that we'll copy data in monthly format and prepare a S-curve based on the monthly time scale. The process will be simple. Right click, spreadsheet field, let's change year per month, click on apply. Let's squeeze this a little bit over here. Okay, now let's control C, come to Excel and let's just paste the data over here. Now let's just delete this weekly format data. Now let's equally distribute the rows since data is not clearly visible. Okay, now over here again we see the date is 1st May, 1st June. Now just like in the weekly format, like the start of start day of the week, this shows the start or the first day of the month. So some changes you can do is that we can change the font style. Let's go to fonts. Let's change the format type. Let's scroll down and let's look for month and year. Click on apply. Now you see the date format is changed. It's now it just represents the May 15th, June 15th and so on. Now let's control Z. Other thing you have is in Excel. We have a formula that directly converts the month to its end of the month date. Now plus EO. Select the month above. Right click and 0. Now it has automatically converted May to the end of the month date that is 31st May. Now let's just stretch it over there. Now what we can see here is that it has converted end of the month date. Now we can say that end of the month we have those units representing for May, June, July, August and so on. Okay now let's convert this into cumulative budgeted labor units. Okay, we have problem. Okay, let's convert it into numbers. And this plus this. Convert this into number again. Now let's stretch the formula. Now let's stretch the formula for all the months as well. Now let's convert this into cumulative plan percentage. Cumulative plan percentage. Cumulative units divided by the cumulative total. Let's give it a horizontal lock. Let's convert this into percentage. Take up to three digits and stretch the formula. We can say that at the end of August, a cumulative plan percentage 10.304. At the end of September, or for the month of September, our plan percentage is 16.934. Now let's type months over here. Let's just select this for the graph. And let's just select this one. 
now let's go to insert recommended charts Excel will automatically recommend charts for cumulative plant percentage but still we'll go to the selections all curve line and select the first one now we have a graph pad now let's just move this data below cut and then paste it over here let's bring a graph at the middle let's stretch it a little bit okay and let's move this data further down okay too much let's bring it back okay this look better let's squeeze this little bit let's stretch it from bottom okay now you can see a date axis doesn't represent the end of the month dates so we'll go and we can see a lot of options over here and what you need to do is click on text access options you have other option on date access text access we need this text access it will directly show the end of the month date as the name of our chart so let's just close this now let's do some page formatting let's move the data a little bit down go to view page break view and it will automatically cut the screen as per the information data available in the excel sheets let's squeeze this from all the sides bring it to one page now we need to change the chart type to have proper data representation quick layouts and select this chart now in this chart we have month available along with the progress percentage or the plan percentage available at the bottom along with the chart and so let's change the name of this one let's write it as cumulative plan percentage now to go further ahead click on the graph right click access and add data levels now the pro plan percentage at that particular month will be displayed on the curve itself but the data is not properly visible so we'll change the data levels we have certain options over here like above right center below we'll choose the above now you can see that the data labels are displayed on top of the graph line now right click now let's click on the options and fill okay and go to markers let's change the marker type change the diamond shape let's increase the size and let's change the markers border as black it will represent as diamond shape markers with black border and that is nothing but for a better visual representation of data labels this is just a typical example of how an S curve is made in excel by exporting the data through primavera now let's type and change the title to S curve now to go further in depth let's come back to our primavera we'll learn about preparing a S curve a late S curve let's come to resource assignment make sure you have the filter resource type labor assigned to the spreadsheet fields click on apply ok now we have a spreadsheet field as budgeted units we need to change it to remaining early and remaining late units time interval units let's select remaining early units and remaining late unit now problem in primavera is that primavera does not have only remaining units and only late units what it has is remaining early and remaining late units that is of advantage when and only when we are preparing curves based on an updated program now since this is an basin program we don't have to worry about remaining early and remaining late units let's put back remaining early units click on apply now we have budgeted units which will act as early units and remaining late units now let's go and add a column over here 
let's go to units and actual units click on apply now you see the actual needs is zero that means it is a baseline program and the program has not been updated so just select these two fields Control c copy go to excel and paste the data okay now you can insert column we'll make cumulative early units now one more thing is that either you can use this formula or Primavera has its own cumulative spreadsheet fields let's go to cumulative units cumulative budget units and cumulative remaining late units so you don't have to use the formula let's select all let's just paste the data over all of this now we see that it will give us directly calculated cumulative budget units and late units now you see that budgeted remaining early remaining late and a total budget unit matches now let's convert this into cumulative percentage cumulative lead percentage now this divide by cumulative total and see with a horizontal lock convert this into percentage three decimals and stretch the formula now copy paste same for the lead plan percentage now select cumulative early percentage and go to sheet one let's paste the data over here right click paste paste special values and number formats come back over here cumulative lead percentage paste special values and number format now let's take a month paste values and number format again what it does is it copies the data along with the formats and the formula let's use a text size okay now let's move the data fields to our graphs okay now let's add select data add cumulative lead percentage select the data okay now you see that the months are not properly visible let's click on add and change our months click on ok months are visible now click on ok now you see that we have our early plan percentage available we have our plan lead percentage available oh yeah one final important thing you need to remember is that you can go to edit go to user preferences and we can go to your time units make sure you have you choose a correct time units based on the requirement of your project your client or your company choose to work on man days that is where the labor units will come based on man days and if you want you can change it to man hours so your display you need to be man hours so what you have to do is edit easy preferences this will be man hours Thank you for watching. Until next time.